Okay, so today we're gonna to be looking at finding the gradient of a straight line. Uh, this is really easy and simple to do. But to start off with, we're gonna look at what is a gradient, right? Now the gradient tells us how steep our line is. So if we have a really, really positive gradient, okay, like so a bigger number that's positive, we're gonna have a very steep, like increasing line, okay? And that's if it's positive. If our gradient is negative, then our line is gonna be decreasing like this, okay? And the more positive it is, the steeper it's gonna be. And the more negative it is, the steeper it's gonna be, but going downhill, okay? So there is one thing we're gonna to need to remember for this, and it is the equation for the gradient. And it's really, really easy, okay? The gradient, so I'll write gradient, is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, so let me just work through a couple examples and then you should be able to find the gradient of any straight line. So first step, okay, you can see here I've got this green line, I wanna find its gradient. To do that, we're gonna find two points, two coordinates on this line, okay, that have whole number values. So I will pick this one here, which has the coordinates, I'll write it in a different color. It has the coordinates one, two, and I will pick this one up here, which has the coordinates six, seven, okay? Now, from here, all I need to do is I'm going to subtract the Y coordinates, and then I'm gonna subtract the X coordinates. The only thing you need to remember is you need to do them in the same order, okay? So what I mean by that is pick one of your coordinates to be like the one that you're gonna do first. So for example, I will pick this one, okay? And so I'm gonna do seven, so the gradient is gonna be equal to seven, subtract the, the two from over here, okay? And because I picked this coordinate as my first one, the one that the arrow is pointing to, when I subtract my x values, okay, I need to pick the six first, and then I'm gonna subtract the one from over here. So six subtract one. If I then work out this gradient, I've got seven subtract two, which is five, divided by six subtract one, which is five, and five over five is the same as one, so the gradient of this line is one. Nice and easy. Let's take a look at one more example. Okay, so you can see I've got another line drawn here, and immediately you don't even need to work out the gradient. You can tell it's gonna be negative because it's sloping down. And we're gonna work it out the same way. I'm gonna pick two points that are whole numbers on this line, so this one here is one, two, and this one over here is two, one. Okay, and so the gradient is gonna be equal to well, I'm gonna pick, say, this point here to be my first coordinate again. And so it's gonna be the y value subtracted. So two subtract one divided by, and remember I'm using the red coordinate first, the one subtract two, okay? And let's simplify that. So we get two subtract one, which is just one divided by one subtract two, which is negative one. And one divided by negative one gives you a gradient of negative one and that's it so subscribe to my channel if you'd like more tutorials or go over to my tiktok if you want to see worked exam questions thanks for watching